Chipman buzzer is a very simple midge pattern. It can be either fish below the surface or on the surface. And this is how I used to fish it many years. I worked 10 plus years in a trout fishery. And uh, many times this wee fly saved, saved the day, put it that way. And as you'll see, it is very simple. And the hook I used, this is a Camasan, it's a B170 size 14. I would use a size above and a size or two below. Uh, it's, it depends on the, the species and the midget was coming off. But as I say, a standard size, the size 14, done extremely well for me. Now the thread I'm using is, this is a uni thread, AO in black. Just change the thread to suit the midgets coming off. And black is the most seen on the waters, especially at the early part of the season. Now for the, to represent the breathers and fine fibres at the end of the, the abdomen, I'm going to be using a glow bright or a multi yarn floss and this is number 16 and as you can see it's a white. It's very simple and I'm going to keep it quite slim so I'm going to tie it in at this point. So all I do is take the thread down in maybe 6 or 7 turns and come up another 2 or 3. Tie it forward of the eye. Now you leave that space there, head space, and then nice and tight, and wax your thread. Just take a layer of thread down the shank until basically in line with the barb of the hook. Right there. Now I'm keeping these quite long it's so that I can manage the material around it. Now all I'm going to do is simply use a, this is a uni mylar in peril, and this is number 14. You could go smaller, but I used to, I like to, to use it quite, it's quite thick. I'm just going to offer that on the side. And then I'm going to wind up some dyed black seals for, but you could use SLF, rabbit, even dyed black rabbit, anything like that. And as I say, you can olive, browns, even red, orange, yellow, whatever colour, they all have their day. Black I would, is definitely the most popular, but and then just lightly build up a body. Don't be too tight on it, because you want the rib to sit in. It needs to sit in the dubbing so it gets a bit of protection. And then bring a thread to the front, bring a rib up through. Looking round about, this here about four turns or so. Lift, this is the reason why you keep this, these long, you see, so you can pull them out of the way. Bring the thread up, nice and tight. Tie it down, and I can fold it back if I want. And then, remove it. So we quite look. And do fine. The easiest way to varnish it is to simply I'm brushing on some clear varnish and then wet finish. And there we are. Now that's the, the version I would use if it was obviously going below the surface. Just trim your scissors in line with the back of the bend of the hook, just then cut, straight cut. You could have them a wee bit longer, it's up to yourself. And then, much the same at the front. And there we are. I know it looks nothing, but I tell you, it works extremely well. If you want to bring out some of the seals for it, just use a, some Velcro. And you could lift this out. Which again, you could get a really, you could basically put some floating on this and bring it closer to the surface. It gives you a nice mark. If you don't like it, you can basically trim some of it away. But it's, as I say, it's not. It's a very simple dress, and I mean it's and very effective. There we go. And then to float it, I'm going to use the same hook again. Get it right on the surface. In this case, I'm going to, I'm going to tie a hair's ear version. That's into the vice, nice and straight. I'm going to change the thread, and you can 
tried two or three different colours, but I'm going to use a fire orange thread, uni thread. Just going to put two or three turns down. Then come back up, leaving that head space. I've got some ether foam here, a plastazote. Basically, this is three millimetres square. I'm just going to tie this forward. Now, the, the length you want, it's best to have it longer than you, you basically would think. You can always trim it back. Uh, maybe around about 3mm off the eye and then stretch, I always like to stretch it pull it pull it all the way down and again much the same length trim I'm going to use pearl rib again, the same medium size and just off it underneath tidy up a wee bit I'm going to use in this case, this one here, it's called, i will just going it down, it's called Fox Squirrel Dubbin. Natural fur, uh, basically what they do this, it's called natural fur. And it's like a hair's ear dubbin, it's, it works really well. Let's remove some from the packet. And don't worry if you see the fire orange coming through. Uh, I find it works even better, even bits of the pearl. And just reasonably and loosely, like as long as it's tight enough, it doesn't have to be tight as a drum, like. But you want some of the the dubbin to spring away from the body to give an impression of the nymph hatching. And just a wee drop more to finish off. I'd probably say they caught as much on the hair's ear as I did the, the black. It does give the impression of a few flies. And then just rub it with the pearl rib. Four turns or so. Again, just bring it to the front. Tie off, you can fold it back for security. Just ignore the rib just now. Put a tiny bit of varnish onto the thread. And then, that finish. All I do is put my floating onto these foam, or even onto the body, and it sits n near to the surface. This will work even when olives are coming off. So, again, have a few of them in your in your box. Set it down there, certainly. Just tie an extra one. Tried this a few times, this, this pattern. And it certainly worked, a tiny olive version. I've got some olive thread here, it just happens to be UTC and olive, and this is the 70. Start at this point here. And then, I've got some CDC feathers here. Now this looks a bit kind of crazy like, but there's three, three feathers there. Now, I want some of the, the stiff or the bottom part of the feathers to face over the eye and the finer at the back. So you're in about there. Now what I'm going to do here, make sure I wax my thread and then secure this down. All the way down. Now we double check before we go any further just to see what we've got here. Now this fly did really well problem being, when we first started using this CDC, it was quite hard to get. And then, we could trim this, but I'll do it later, once I've finished the fly. Again, we had the pearl rib, the medium one. Just catch this on the side, full length of the body. Get a nice olive. Reasonably. Tie it, dub it onto the thread. So it's kind of more a honey olive, it's quite a nice. You want the dart to show through the thread. So here we up to this point here. Bring your thread to the front. Okay, and bring your rib up through. Four turns or so. Pull it, see this out the way. 
bring the thread up nice and tight and then trim away and then varnish onto the thread whip finish trim away your thread any fibres you may have caught, like this one here I've caught pull it out just trim the CDC but don't trim it too short say probably and from half the body length over the back like that just pull it up and again same length at the front and there we are so basically that was it and it sits really nice and stuff as you can see it so you can send it again very simple easy to do or easy to tie anyway so I hope you enjoyed that so there's the three patterns there. Quick and easy. Fill your box.